right on time. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this. This is an EX farm. I pretty much figured this out from the beginning of the game. Because in the beginning, there's like an opening cutscene where you see the griffin carrying the Arisen. And then the people of Melv shoot the um, griffin down with this ballista. And immediately, I will know you can use that ballista. Because the game is made by um, Hideaki Itsuno. And that guy, he doesn't put anything in a cutscene that you can't actually use in the game. So that was basically a hint. Um, I'm not going to be using this, right? Because you gain the level way too quickly. As you can see, every time you kill that griffin, you get like 7,000 experience points. My level is 33. Yeah. Uh, so I've not really been using it. But I'm using it now just to show you that it's there. Right. Uh, I wouldn't want to enjoy the game. You know, the experience, the journey of this game. It's incredible, man. I'm loving this game so much, right? But I know that this, they're going to patch this 100%. Look, he's right on schedule. Like clockwork. You like clockwork, mate? Shall I, I always know when he's going to be there. I always know what pattern he's going to take. It's like absolute clockwork. And you can just do this over and over and over again. And it doesn't deviate. Whoa. Easiest way. I mean, to be honest, I mean, look, I'll be honest with you. I haven't watched YouTube videos. So I don't know if this has been discovered or not. Right, because I want to stay away from spoilers and stuff like that. And so look, so I'll go here and I'll just sit here. And this is what I do. So look, I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh! Bloody hell. Why don't they do that? Well, it's still daytime. As long as it's the morning or the afternoon. So you could do it to 15... Um, 16, or I think, I think that was 17 actually. Let's see if it works. As long as you, to be here, I'll wager. as long as you get to as much as we can carry. the middle of the day, as long as you get to daytime and it's between day, you know, you've pressed that, you've gone through cycles, look, and look, just like clockwork, you stand here. What a it is beautiful. Oh, I'd not say no to a short repose hereabouts. Perhaps there we, we is. Might take a moment to savor the scene. Just like clockwork. So as I say, you just go to that chair and you just wait on that chair. Do it exactly how I did it. You know, you just press the button until you see it goes through. Um, I'll say 15, 16 to 17. Um, sequences 
of like morning, afternoon, evening, morning, right? But you're aiming for the morning, yeah? But it looks to me like you get to afternoon, because this is afternoon, yeah? And that will reset him, and he'll be here. He's going to swoop down, right? He follows the same pattern, the same pattern. Look, he's going to do that, and he's going to turn here. I'm going to see him there. Yeah, he's going to do his thing. You're just delaying the inevitable, my friend. Your inevitable death awaits you. I'm so sorry, Mr. Griffin. Griffin San. But yeah, they're going to patch this in it. I don't I'm not too sure if there's been people have discovered this. I mean I would assume people have because the clue was in the beginning of the game. Yeah, it was like a massive clue they gave you that you could that this is there. But once people start widely spread using this, they're gonna patch it immediately. And then he's going to go here. He's gonna take a turn. And I'm gonna go here. And then aim my bow. And then he's going to swoop down about now. And by the time he lands, I'm going to be max charge. I shall not fail you. And then I will fire. Let's charge up my next chunk. And you've got to be careful here because what you can do is the actual ballista is so big that even though you don't see it, you can aim at the, the actual fort itself. And then... Like that, you see? It looks like I'm high enough, but I wasn't actually aiming high enough. Let's hope that he doesn't fly away. Bro, what? Oh man, I might have blown this one. Bro. So you see that? That was impeccably timed, Arisen. And then look, you just go down, and I'll just show you one more time because you know you may think, oh, it's not really a thing, it's not really like clockwork. No. <clears throat> it is. It's not it's not something that it's not gonna not happen. It's just it is what it is. One Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. And the reason I'm showing you this so many times, and I'm showing to you step by step, is because I want there to be no confusion as to what I'm doing. We're in Melv. I've come to Melv. Um... I'm in the middle of doing the um, plot where we're trying to uncover um, information about the false arisen. And I look, there he is, like clockwork. You see a griffin? And he's going to come over here. <coughs> so I'm still extremely early in the game. And yeah, 
I mean, just get levels like really, really quickly. This way. Just like Clockwork. Because end of the day, this is a Capcom game. And that's the thing about Capcom. Is they program their games meticulously. And things work with like clockwork. There's no deviance. There's no random factors to it. When Capcom games are done properly, they are a sum of mathematical precision. So you can actually master the game as long as you're playing it. Look, I've done this thing. Look how, like, clockwork I've got it. I'm going to stand here like I am all the time. I'm going to watch him. He's going to turn there. Aim the camera there. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit too high. Yeah. But you know where he is anyway, right? Just like clockwork. He's going to fly there. He's going to turn there. He's going to fly there a little bit. Yeah, you ain't going to go too far, man. Turn around, bro. Time to turn around. Yep. Yep. It's not working out for you. We know. Say, weren't we tasked with another errand that sent us somewhere near here? We might kill two birds with one stone. That's it. Come towards. Both choices have merit. That's the reason at the beginning of this um, little video that I'm doing. I did it without sound. Because I wanted to show you it live. Like this is not a clip. You know where it's just like one little instance. Where it will work, and then it won't work consistently. And he's gonna swoop down. You see, like clockwork. And before he lands, I'm already charging it. So by the time he settles down, I am gonna be fully charged. And now he's landed. And then I fire. Then I charge my shot. Like, see here? I might even still miss. It might be still too high. Aim a little bit up. Like that! That really missed! That basically is saying that I hit the... I hit the fort a little bit. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Mate, that's high enough. There's no way that's gonna. Okay. So yeah, yeah, that's how you can get like over seven thousand experience points. You know, in a matter of seconds. And you can do this in less than a minute. You can do it in less than a minute. Easy. Look, this is less than a minute. So look, time I've killed him, I go here, I'll show you one more time, just so that there's no confusion, there's no, how do you do this, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, that's enough. So, so this is the morning, but you see on the fifteenth cycle, we got to the morning. So there's no point in me going to 16. If I got to 15 and it was night time, then I would do it again to get to 16. But if I got to like, um, you know, the 16 and it was night time, I'd go to 17. We're just trying to get to like this time, morning or the afternoon. Yeah. And then we wait here. And look, see, just like clockwork. Just like clockwork. This is Capcom. 
This is Capcom. You can always trust in Capcom to program their games to a sum of mathematical precision. You can always count on them for that. No deviance from the equation. <clears throat> That's the reason I don't like Resident Evil 4. Because Resident Evil 4 is... There's no mathematical precision. There's no equation. It's just like a... It's random. Like events in that game are like random. Things are randomly happening. Like you have a system where you shoot zombies in the leg and it stunned them but then once you get to the hardest difficulties that system mechanic doesn't work anymore you know you've got a mechanic where if you stab them in their head if you shoot them in the head and stab them when they're on the floor that will kill them instant kill them and they won't, the last pluggers won't come out of their head but in the hardest difficulty that mechanic doesn't work anymore and when you stab them when they're on the floor in professional difficulty or whatever the hardest difficulty is it just accelerates that lust plug us um transformation so you know stuff like that but the other resident evils it was everything happened like clockwork and this game is a return to that where everything is just you learn the system, it's like Monster Hunter, you learn the system, you learn the patterns of what is happening in the game, you could do the same thing over and over and over and over again, and there's going to be no deviance from what you're doing. And I'm going to go here, and I'm going to press it, and he's going to swoop down, and I'm going to start charging up. It's like Groundhog Day, right? Bet you'll be wanting my assistance. You'd think maybe I've got this on loop. No, there's no loop. This is me doing it over and over and over again. The definition of insanity. But I'm doing it just to show you that there's no tricks going on. And let me charge it up again. And then... Fire. So yeah. Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. That's that. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. As you can see, super easy to get 7,000 experience points in a matter of seconds and you could do this over and over and over again as much as you like um as i say if you want to power level by doing this there's literally no risk of you dying uh you get like a lot of experience points for your character oh what was that was that two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 40. Okay, so he's, he's, he is it's 15, should be morning. Is this morning? Uh, yeah, I say it's morning, it's morning. It's just the weather. You know, so as I say, you could do this. Now, this is the thing about this um, level up thing that I'm showing you. There's no fun in it. There's, there's no fun in this. Like, maybe... If you've got nothing to do, or you've got stuff to do in your house, but you don't want to actively play, you know, but you don't want to actively play, and you're just chilling, yeah, you can do this. 
but the one thing I'll say, as you see, like clockwork, this is not really fun. Yeah, because part of leveling up is the fun of the adventure, of battling monsters, of traversing the world. You know, just experiencing new things. Yeah, so yes, this is in the game. And once the developers have found this, because I doubt they even know about this, that it works like this. Yeah, because it is actually down to a sum of mathematical precision. You go through day and night cycles, enemies reset their exact same uh, pattern or their appearance rate. And you can utilize that for exploits like this. Yeah. Once something like this is discovered, 100% the developers are going to patch this out immediately, immediately. Because this is too much. Bro. Put it this way. When you're basically starting the game at the very beginning, this is the starting area. You can do this. You can do this when you're like level two or three. <laughs> Easy. You don't need to have equipment. You don't need to be leveled up or nothing like that. You can straight do this at the very beginning of the game. Like within the first 30 or 40 minutes of playing the game, you can do this. You know, so. There's no passion in this. There's no fulfillment or joy from doing it. Except, you know. You know, you're gaining levels and experience for your um for your weapons your weapon points right and that's it that's it you just get like weapon points which i would say is like the harder thing actually is the weapon points Yeah, I'd say that the weapon points is like the harder part of all of this. Well, when you get to like, um, when you level up the weapons to like, I'll say level... 8 or 9? Bro, that was too high. That was too low. Like, when you get to like, I'll say like level... Like, weapon level up. Um, class level up. 8 to 9? That's when it gets like... It takes long. Bro, what? Mate. Oh, it's happening now. So yeah. Just wanted to show you that. That is how you can get a lot of experience points. 7,000 to be exact. With the greatest of ease. And um, you get a lot of weapon um, vocation points as well. In seconds. Easy. Easy peasy. So yeah, Warriors, I want to say thanks for tuning in. Uh, appreciate you watching. This is the um, experience points, farm, exploit that developers will patch the moment. I mean, when I make this live, you know, I know it's got a lot of people are going to see this video and developers will catch wind of it. And um, yeah. They're definitely going to patch this out within days of me posting this. I'm sure of it. So, yeah. Take care. Stay blessed. And, um, yeah, catch you in the next one. Laters.